I have owned this skateboard longer than everyone else on YouTube. I've done more mods than everyone else on YouTube. I've probably maintained my board more than everyone else on YouTube. I don't take pride in that. I really don't give a shit. I just thought I'd state it. I haven't really seen too many videos on this damn thing. I've owned it for years, you guys. Alright, I live in Idaho. I've been here for 10 fucking years, okay? Like, this road is rough. I live out in cornfields. Like, this shit is rough. This thing has survived years, okay? Let's start out with that. It has survived years of abuse. Alright? Comes with lead acid batteries. Out of the box. They suck. Alright? They suck. They'll last you a little bit. And then you'll realize that they're trash. And then you don't know what to do with the board. So you end up getting a lithium ion. I got an oversized one. This is a 36 volt. Oh, I want to say 35 amp hour. Don't quote me on that. It's been a while since I looked at the specs. Um, I got smaller tires. And something that I have never put on YouTube, um, I have taken apart these motors and I have cleaned the brushes out and they were disgusting. Awful. I've cleaned them. I've cleaned them very well. And they are a real bitch. So I put it back together. And if any of you guys are watching how to put these motors back together and you guys are stuck trying to get the brushes back on aligned with the rotor, I'm going to call it the rotor, with the shaft, you have to use saran wrap. And it works really well. You want to, you want to put saran wrap through the holes. It's, it's been a while since I've done this, but if you want to take if you want to take this part and clean the brushes, you put saran wrap, and you put the fixture up in there, and you pull the saran wrap out, and that's how you get the motor closed again. Okay, it took me a while to figure that out. I've had this motor assembly in a milk crate for like a week trying to figure that out. Okay, so that's how you do it. Bam. Alright, now, this board, I love this board to death, but the death is coming soon, you guys. Alright, it's coronavirus, you guys, I mean, all this stuff is real. I mean, I'm not a believer of coronavirus, or I, I, whatever. Anyways, it has made the market very scarce, and the market, coronavirus is a real thing in the market, so... These motor hub assemblies here, there's these bolts on here, okay? In order to take these rear tires off, okay, Harbor Freight tires, to switch them out, you have to take this stuff apart, okay, you guys? And there's these bolts on here, and they're not the highest of quality, and they strip. And it's part of the housing. There's... There's this gear in here that you have, you can take the tire, you can take this whole thing off and you have to take off this certain bolts here. And unfortunately, these things are not made of high quality in this area. Some of these bolts are actually very high quality, these nuts and screws. Some of them are. Like these ones are, you know, these are. But unfortunately, they use really awful quality ones in here. And you cannot take these tires off anymore. So if those break on you, you are effed. Unless you buy a new hub assembly, which I cannot find anywhere on eBay. Anywhere, you guys, anywhere. I cannot find this part. So you're dead. You're, you're stuck in the water, you guys. Okay, this might happen to someone else. I've done a lot to this board, you guys. My heart and soul are, is, is attached to this board, you know? Like... I have cleaned the brushes, I have put a bath lithium ion, I have driven the I mean I have driven this thing for miles and miles and miles, but it's coming to an end guys. This stuff I can't take these tires off anymore and these tires are flat. Okay, this happened a month ago and I don't know what to do about it. And I'm, honestly, I might just scrap this board. Um so anyone that owns this board, I gotta say it's reliable. I have never had a problem with electronics. I put this that battery pack on there and it's never fried nothing um the communication with the controller has never been interrupted so props to that you know that's 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 awesome that that's never failed i did not expect this to break so there's something in these it's hard to explain unless you were to take all this off but i don't want to take all this off trust me on this there's like four screws in there that are 
broken i mean they just you take them off and they strip on their own they're so sensitive they're so soft metal such a soft chinese metal that just unfortunately you just can't find a replacement for it anymore uh, so that's what you're buying you guys so this is a dated board i love it like i said i'm gonna have to scrap this soon i'm gonna take this motor off i'm battery off i'm sorry and i'm gonna find a repurpose for it uh, i have a couple solar panels i'm probably gonna play around with the solar you know um and i'm gonna look at uh either the one wheel or other options here you know um I loved it. Got me into a whole new world of electric skateboarding. But this is like a, um, an advanced beginner board, if that makes any sense. Advanced beginner. While it's customizable to an extent, it's not. It is, but it's not. Okay, you guys. Love it to death. You guys have a great evening. Good morning. Good night. Whenever you're watching this shit. Thanks for watching the video, guys. But say, say goodbye to the Moto Tech skateboard. Rest in peace.